Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, I just wanted to do a little video with my top five tips on curly hair growth. Those of you who follow me on Instagram will know that I've been on this curly journey for a couple of years now. Um, and my results have honestly been amazing. Um, from where I started to where I am now, it's just such a drastic difference so I thought I would share that with you guys today. Before we jump in with the tips I will give you a little bit of my background history um, in regards to my hair. So I used to straighten my hair every single day from the age of about 12, 13 um, up until about three years ago. Every single day I would straighten it. I used to bleach it all the time too um, so I would probably bleach my hair twice a month like it's a miracle that I had any hair left at all um this is what my hair used to look like this is my hair um when i first started my started my curl journey and this is my hair now as so i took this picture the other day um and obviously you can also see in the video what my hair's like at the moment a um, little bit of shrinkage thanks to the denman brush but yeah the length is definitely there so let's jump right in. Um, really hate to break it to you, there is no super quick secret to hair growth, unfortunately. Um, I know that that is what I was looking for when I first started out on this hair journey, but there isn't one. You have just got to wait it out. Um, so my first tip is to cut out heat and bleach. I know that that is not going to be the easiest thing for some people. I really struggled with cutting out the heat um, because straightening my hair was what I'd always known. And then going through that transition stage, I really, really struggled with. I didn't do a big chop. I just transitioned um, and my hair honestly looked like tumbleweed. It was quite embarrassing. But I got through it and I'm so glad that I did. So cut out the heat, cut out the bleach, you don't need it. Once your hair is in a healthy state, if you decide that you then maybe want to straighten it every so often, but you are doing so safely and in a healthy way, fine. But until you get to that point, cut it out. Same with bleach. There's no reason that you can't add um, highlights, lowlights, whatever you want to add to your hair once your hair is healthy, but let it get healthy first. So that is my first one, quite an obvious one, just cut out all that bad stuff, it is no good for you, um, stop it, stop it now. And then you either want to do a big chop or transition, so that is where you just leave your hair, um, well not, not leave it, leave it in, <laughs> on, <laughs> you know what I mean, don't cut it. Um, and you transition and then there are steps to follow for if you are transitioning. Tip number two, drink more water. I hated this one. I hated it because everyone said it and I was like, how can this possibly help my hair? It does. I drink so much water now. I don't like tap water though, so I drink sparkly water. Um, like that is all I drink. Other than hot drinks, all I drink is my sparkling water and it has definitely made a difference if you are healthy on the inside you are going to naturally be healthier on the outside too um so yeah water is so good for you it's good for your nails it's good for your hair it's good for your skin drink lots of water also eating lots of food they're rich in vitamin b so vitamin b is the vitamin that helps to encourage hair growth um, hang on, I got my little list. So foods like oranges, clementines, lemons, so citrusy fruits, um, also sunflower seeds, whole grains such as brown rice, eggs, broccoli, spinach, so your dark leafy greens, um, lots and lots of food that are rich in vitamin B. All of those are going to help to encourage hair growth. Of course, you can also take um, like hair vitamins too. I had some really lovely ones that I got from Aldi. Sadly, they stopped selling them, but I'm sure you can get them from Holland and Barrett's, um, Asda, wherever. So yes, water and vitamin B, get on that. Um, tip number three, deep condition. I'm guilty of not deep conditioning as often as I should. 
um, but deep conditioning really really helped me in the beginning um, when I first started the journey I would deep condition all the time um, so every time I washed my hair I'd use a deep conditioner so once a week uh, yeah deep deep condition deep condition deep condition it takes up time I know it does but it is so good for you it helps to stop your hair from breaking it helps to stop ends from splitting it keeps your hair hydrated and moisturized it helps to restore your natural oils it is just so so good for you so definitely find a, a lovely deep conditioner I might do a video actually with my top five deep conditioners but one off the top of my head is the naughty hair care um they have an intense moisture deep conditioner. That was one that I absolutely adored, um, still do. So yeah, check that out, deep condition. Uh, tip number four, sleep protection. So sleeping on a regular cotton pillow, which I'm guilty of, don't look at my pillows. Um, <laughs> sleeping on a regular cotton pillow will snag the hair and cause breakage so if you are going to use a regular cotton pillow you need to wrap your hair up in a silk or satin bonnet or hair wrap um if you have a silk or satin pillowcase even better i like to pineapple my hair on top of my head and then wrap my hair and it just really helps to preserve my curls and i have a lot less work to do the next day as well I'm a little bit guilty <laughs> of not doing it all the time. Um, I did it last night and I've done nothing to my hair today. And it's like ready to go. So I'm definitely going to start doing that more because it is worth it. Um, and as I said, it stops your hair snagging. So it stops breakage. The less breakage, the more growth. Um, and tip number five is patience. Stop looking at all of these gorgeous influencers with gorgeous curls down to their backside because you will get there but not overnight you need to give it time and patience and the longer you spend comparing yourself to others the quicker you're going to give up um we are all beautiful in our own way and no matter where we are in our journey we should be proud if you are just starting be proud that you are wanting to start this if you are halfway through that is amazing keep going if you are at the end, though I don't really think there is an end because you hit your goals and then you've got other goals, but if you are at the end, fantastic, you know, you're there, well done. But no matter where you are in your journey, you be your own goal, be your own role model, stop looking up, at the, like look up to them, they are beautiful people with their beautiful hair, but you cannot have that overnight, you can't um be realistic be patient keep going don't give up we are in this together curlies we have got this we will get there so yeah my final tip is patience there are so many other tips we didn't even touch on scalp massages and oils and all of that jazz so if you liked this video and you would like more tips or um more advice or more ramblings then please let me know and i will get on that for you guys please give me a subscribe i am very new to youtube so it'd be really lovely um to start getting to know you all um if you do not follow me on instagram i will put my instagram handle on the screen um i often post lots of my hair care tips tricks life bits <laughs> on my instagram account um so yeah give it a follow thanks guys and i will see you in the next video bye